This is an illegal golf ball that will get you arrested. This is the MG golf ball designed for senior golfers or anybody for that matter whose drives are less than 250 yards. It is totally USGA non-conforming. So it is not legal for tournament play, but it's totally legal for non-tournament play. Taking your buddy's money. MG claims that this ball will get you what they say is astonishingly more distance. And they say the MG Senior flies higher and longer with a hotter feel off the face and a sound you aren't used to hearing anymore. We'll forgive them for their awkwardly worded sentencing, but I think they mean uh, we haven't heard that sound before. Now, although they don't claim exactly how much yardage you gain, they do say you will get a club to a club and a half more distance with your irons. So we're gonna put the MG to the ultimate test here in studio using TrackMan technology. We're gonna be hitting irons, eight irons to be exact, and drivers, and we're gonna make this as perfectly scientific as it can be so that we get a true 100% true check on MG to see if their claims are reality or if they should be arrested for false advertising. All right, the first thing we are going to do is measure each golf ball. Do our best to get it right in the center. There's inches, Pro V1X, 1.2, perfect. Of course, expect nothing less. The MG, senior golf ball. Well, what do you know? It is exactly the same as the Pro V1X. Let's weigh these bad boys. And we will weigh six at a time to get a good idea of what a uh, group of balls weighs. Six balls, 274 grams Pro V1X. 273 grams MG Senior Golf Balls, virtually identical. Now that we have all the weights and measurements done and everything looks pretty normal, Fantastic, now we're ready to hit shots. First thing we're doing is hitting eight irons. We're gonna go back and forth. Pro V1s, MGs. Pro V1X, MGs. Pro V1X, MGs. Pro V1X, we're gonna go back and hit a ton of balls and we're just hitting tons of balls for a while. All right, we hit a bunch of shots, 20 with each ball, Pro V1X, and the MG ball. Let's first look, you can see the dispersion here. Orange is gonna be your Pro V1X and blue is your MG golf ball. We had great shots, we had horrible shots, all together, no problem. Here are the numbers on average for Pro V1X. Average ball speed of 107. We had an average carry distance of 144 with a total of 151 and an average estimated spin rate of 67.14. Height is very important, 87 feet in the air. That's your Pro V1X. And I mean, already you can tell that the longer ones are all from MG. You got the shortest one here and the longest one there. Even if we throw this one out, it's not gonna skew our data too much from Pro V1X. Now let's see how much more we get with the MG golf ball. Interesting. So this is an eight iron. Our ball speed went from 107 to 110. Our carry went from 144 to 150. Total 155. Spin rate virtually identical at 6705. And we get uh, about 10 more feet, 12 more feet of height. So a little bit higher, roughly the same spin three miles an hour ball speed more, and I don't get a club and a half, but on average, I did get four yards. So that's pretty good. We do have one outlier ball on the Pro V1X. I'm just gonna remove because it's so, I must've hit that one really bad. So let's just take that one out. Okay, so we actually had six extra yards of distance with the MG ball, not four. So taking that one out, we gained one extra yard of average distance. So our average carry, let's say, I've taken out that really bad one with the Pro V1X. Our average carry is 145. Everything else is relatively the same. Looking at the side view, and we're looking at kind of the height, you could see here's the Pro V1X 
And then when we jump over to the MG golf ball, you can see our ball is coming in higher. See that? Just MG Pro V1X. Pro V1X, MG Senior Ball. Pro V1X, MG Senior Ball. Okay, so we do get a little bit more yardage with the illegal golf ball with an eight iron about four yards and an extra bit of height, which will definitely help landing that ball softer. Now the big test, the driver. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. However, when I'm hitting, if I hit it over 90 miles an hour, I'm deleting that swing. If I hit it under 85 miles an hour, I'm deleting that swing. So all swings with the Pro V1X and the MG Golf Ball, I'm gonna try my best to keep my swing. We're only keeping shots in that range, 85 to 90 miles an hour. So that's on me. And we're gonna see with that club head speed, doing the exact same thing, what will happen? How many more yards, if any, will you get with the driver. As we hit the driver and start gathering our data, let's make sure that if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, you do that now. Make sure you are part of the Mr. Short Game crew. And don't forget, Seven Diamonds having a one and only sale. Uh, special code 30% off, link in the video description below. We are close to seeing the final results and we're gonna cut this ball open to see what kind of illegal activity is going on internally. Exciting results coming momentarily before that. Let's cut it open and see what is inside this bad boy that makes it uh, potentially a lot better and illegal. It can be a little man in here with like a, with a cannon. Hmm. Here is what we have. Two piece golf ball. Inner core, white, kind of off-white. That's just a one piece inner core, hard rubber. And the outer core is the cover, it's just a covering. So two piece golf ball there. And it is totally, you can see it with the naked eye. This is thinner than this. So the top right, let's say one o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, is a lot thicker than seven o'clock. Not made particularly symmetrical or let's say the quality control on that is not the greatest. But we don't care about quality control, we care, are we getting more yardage? Because that is really the desire of a lot of golfers out there, especially as you age or as your swing slows down. So let's look at the results now with the driver. Here are the results from our driver. Hit a lot of fairways, so that's good. Average club head speed, taking out highs and lows, we averaged at 86 miles per hour. And with that, our average ball speed was 127 miles per hour. Our average carry, was 191 yards for a total of 224 and 2259 spin rate, Pro V1X. That's not bad. And the average height is 57. So if you're swinging around that distance, you're, that's what's happening, okay? Let's see if MG beat that. Exciting news, it did beat it. Look at this. My average club at speed was 86.9, so roughly we're within a mile, less than a mile per hour difference. So we're right there, we're spot on. But our ball speed is faster, three miles per hour faster, so it is coming off the face hotter. And we're getting a carry of 203 and a 234 distance with the 2311 spin, and less curve for a ball that's, let's say, not made as well, and a higher ball flight, a little bit higher. So all in all, we're roughly getting a little bit more than 10 yards more distance with the driver with the MG Senior golf ball. And interestingly, my bad shots with the Pro V1X were a lot worse than my bad shots with the MG. So all in all, it looks like the MG Senior golf ball does give the slower swing speed player a little bit more distance depending on how you define a little bit. 10 yards, 
half, you know, four yards, six yards, 10 yards, right in that range with irons and driver. Hope this cleared things up. I'll leave a link on Amazon where you can get these. Love you guys. See you next time.